get those early cargo throw up up throws into up air kills just for the early kills so they don't have to deal with getting juggled so much and dying in an amazing fashion. But instead of going the DK, we're going to be seeing the Belmont. I actually have never seen Squid Plumber's Belmont, so this is going to be... No, no, I'm... why did I say Squid Plumber? I meant to say Big Funny anyways. I am losing my mind today. And that is well, either way. Anyways, alright. Getting right into this with the unique themed PS2 for my Twitch channel, actually. I'll release that on Game Banana at some point. It looks amazing, I just gotta say. But right now, both players are going back to back, just trying to feel each other out, spacing their moves, just seeing what connects, and then just chaining it off of that one string. And right now, they're both at pretty good percent. Um, percent. Nothing too high, but don't underestimate Ness or um, Richter at this point, because Richter can easily die just from an easy edge guarding situation. But the tables have turned right now as Ness is getting um, pressured at the ledge. And that is, a, that, is a, that is an unfortunate angle too, actually. Yeah, with the PK rocket getting hit by the axe, not taking any damage for it, but actually stopping the momentum of PK rocket, causing him not to be, um, to fall short of making it to the ledge. Yeah, and even then, Exactly, and right now, just, um, Pono's doing his best just to start trying to get this first stock off of Big Funny. But right now, Big Funny is just only at 97%, and trying his very best not to take any damage whatsoever, and just trying to maintain this stock lead. Yeah, Big Funny just seems to be, needs to, seems to be steamrolling right through this. Because it's already it's starting to go further and further away from Pono's grasp. The more for Ness, it should be an interesting matchup just given the fact that Ness does fairly well against projectile based characters with his F Smash being a reflector and using Psy Magnet as um an absorb to absorb projectiles, but given the fact that Belmonts both the Belmonts have um unique projectiles that don't actually get absorbed except for the um holy water. So this is a little bit of a difficult situation and because Ness has to be up in your face and Richter can keep his distance using his whip. It's a little bit difficult for Pono to get in and secure this kill. Yeah, just because, like, you're saying it right here, obviously. Like, Big Funny just does not have to approach because you can just throw out a whole cross and axe to build up some damage. And, oh, just like that, Big Funny. Yeah, finally taking off that first stock. Um, it's going to be a little bit difficult for Pono to make this back up, but hopefully. If he can just get a good gimp off stage, he could have this stock lead, but right now he has to take and no more damage in order for him to say um survive with the second stock he has. Exactly. Ooh, but that out of shield up B is going to be taking that stock and Pono's on his last stock while Big Funny's standing at 0% on his second stock. Possible JV3 coming in? No. That, yeah, that's very true. But never count out any character in this game just given the fact that they both have very explosive natures and abilities. And right now, it seems like Big Funny's just starting to rack up a lot of damage and just pressuring Pono just so much with already 42% of damage on him. And only 24% on his second stock, mind you. Oh, Pono just went for that up there. Okay. Who tried using Yo Yo to edge guard um, Big Funny, but didn't work in his advantage. And now he's off stage, just trying to recover using PK Rocket, but misses! Oh. Pineapple by PS2. That's an unfortunate way to go out. Well, he did his best, and all I can say is Big Funny is going to be taking that first game. Yes, with the Richter, which I believe is a Big Funny first. As wow. Aware when it comes to Mega Drive, I'm not too sure about other tournaments. Yeah, well, either way, his Richter is no joke. Just sending out more uh, multiple projectiles just to cover Ness's options. If he tried to jump, Axe was there. If he tried to run up, he used Holy Cross. Then, just to pressure out the ledge, he used Holy Water. And then, just for me um, good measure's sake, he used his whip in order to catch any um, get-up option, whether it be regular get-up or roll. Yeah, but I wonder if this is going to spark both 
like spark both of these guys to go for counter picks in a way because big funny could be thinking to himself well i main dk i could probably go dk and finish this off or i could well stick to victor and i was about to say something like i was about to say something like pono could possibly counter pick but i haven't actually seen pono do too much of anything other than this yeah so well either way we're going to be going to fd this is a very good stage for any zoner type because they don't have to be um, they, most of the time, they don't have to deal with platforms, since the other characters that are trying to avoid projectiles, they'll be able to stay on the platform and not have to deal with any of that. But with FD, this allows them to just start throwing out projectiles, covering more options, and only allowing characters that don't have the abilities to, um, go against projectiles. Ooh, but, but the sudden SD by... Big funny, that's gonna allow Pono to have a really good advantage right now. Hopefully he can keep it. Yeah. Right off the bat, it already seems like a different uh, matchup. Seems like Pono's um, just using his wits and just keeping his distance from Richter, realizing that he has the stock advantage, so he needs to... Um, so Big Funny is gonna be the one that needs to approach. And that's what Ness wants him to do. In this situation, he wants to keep um, the distance close so he doesn't have to get edge guarded. But right now, he is off stage. And Big Funny's trying his best just to keep Ness away from him. Yeah, basically, but right now, the wall now with all these projectiles, but it doesn't seem to be doing too well because you're, you let him back onto the stage. Exactly. And right now, he's just standing at the side of, the le um, of FD. It's not a bad situation for him, just given the fact that Big Funny needs to make up this stock deficit, and right now it seems that Pono is doing fairly well just keeping his first stock. Using PK um, Pulse to just stall his momentum while he was at the ledge, and getting back, using that air dodge, um, very helpful, being one of the a really good air dodge in this game, and using um, Psy Magnet to stall his momentum. Yep, Sarga doesn't sweat too much of time. No, you're good, man. Don't worry. At the moment, it just seems like um, Big Funny's just trying everything in his power just to get this stock off. And right now, it's not having it. Um, Pono's not letting him get the stock off. 155 um, on Ness right now with 99 on Big Funny. Right now, he needs to figure out a way. And he's just throwing out everything imaginable. Um, Holy Cross isn't going to do it, but maybe Holy Axe, if he's careful enough, using that side, um, PK Thunder to just... Um, keep Big Funny away from him. Even with that forward air, not going to hit the sweet spot, not allowing him to die. Yeah, this is looking like the exact opposite of last game. Oh, do not get hit by that. Ooh. Well, someone got hit by an Uffy. Yeah. Pono was just trying to figure out a way just to um, get back on stage. And if he, using PK Rocket was an option, he took it. But sad to say that Big Funny was ready for it and used up B to counter it but right now big funny's got to make up the stock deficit and currently he's at 138 not stock deficit but percent deficit mind you he's at 138 while pono is at 25 just swinging trying his best to figure out a way to get this stock off a big a good back throw if he places it correctly will seal the deal yeah but right now 48 percent on pono and 155 145 um actually on big funny and with that back here that's going to take the first um the second stock big funny on his um final stock while pono is on his final stock using that holy water to and um using that holy water and f smash allowing him to take that stock and a good taunt from, um when he took off that stock feeling pretty confident in himself just trying to get this um final stock off with 29 percent to big funny's 55 Using the up B out of shield to allow him to rack up even more damage. Just starting to rack up more and more. It seems like this could be um, Big Funny's possibility to make this comeback. It's going to be, it's not, it's very possible for him to do this. But he has to play his cards right and edge guard nest like no tomorrow. But right now, right off the bat, you see that 76% is on Pono. But he reflected the Holy Cross right back. And he's using PK Fire to just pressure big funny and right now he's doing fairly well whoa okay 170 um wow but the yo-yo is gonna not take it just yet big funny's living on on a prayer right now just trying his best but that backer is gonna take it 
Pono taking game two and with a taunt to boot. Both players played at an incredible level, and with um that the second game goes to Pono and will be seen in game three. I can't wait to see what kind of playstyle change there's going to be. But I definitely have to say that Big Funny almost had that comeback because even with that SD at the beginning of the game, he did almost bring it back. So I can't wait to see what's going to happen in this third game when he doesn't actually SD if he doesn't. Yeah, that is actually something that really threw Big Funny back, like SDing all the way dead, like early percents that just cuts your momentum off for almost the entire game. It is never good and just That's very, very unfortunate to see. Yeah, that's very true, but I can't wait to see what stage you're going to be picking. It seems like both players are going um, selecting something at the moment, whether it be a stage counter pick or a character switch, but I can't wait to see what's going to be occurring in this third and final game of the first set of um, Mega Drive. And right off the bat, we're going to be seeing Wolf this time, a switch. This could be a very good... Um, change for big funny given the fact that he did go um richter at the beginning and he might have more comfort picks just playing wolf given how versatile his movesets are and how disjointed his hitboxes are that fair acting like someone of a sword type um sword archetype while he has a very safe all of his moves almost all of his moves are very safe on shield or has a lot of shield stun which allows wolf to actually be able to um protect himself from any possible risk of getting hit yeah oh that actually almost just did it oh, yeah, trying to get that two frame but not able to 18 percent on wolf while pono is sitting at 92 he has to be very careful on what he's gonna do and right now it seems like big funny is doing a fairly well um good job just keeping this um small lead going with 112 to 37 and right now he has to figure out a way to get the stock off but Pono's not having any of it, just trying to use um, PK Rocket just to get this kill off, but not fast enough to get that up smash in. Uh, I like what Big Funny was doing to possibly try to read just the, uh, being past the shield with an up smash, but that obviously is going to work out too well. Yeah. Pono's really starting to um, feel himself right now, just use his side magnet just to um, shift his momentum and figure out a way to change up his um landing style but that's not gonna be helpful in this situation with that f tilt coming in to take the first stock from pono with big funny having 84 percent on him while the damage is continuing to rack up on pono's side yeah, this, is definitely, this definitely seemed like the right thing that, that big funny chose going into this game but ooh, possibly can mess off stage is this gonna happen? No. not just yet but as um just for that couple um seconds you saw how big funny was just um keeping pono off stage for just a so long of a time and getting those two frame two um f tilt was just insane and incredible timing on his part and right now you see pono on a familiar area of the stage being at the ledge but getting clipped no not getting clipped by getting hit by that f smash trying to use side magnet to shift his momentum but not working out in his favor and Big Funny, similar situation to le the first game, having all three stocks while Pono's on his final one. Yeah. Oh, this could actually be very good. If Wolf goes off stage here with this man, that's just great. Yeah, nice pivot grab to uh, back throw, getting 49 damage to 57 now. Just trying to figure out a way, but tried oh. to style on him, getting the fair into Wolf Flash, but not working, both taunting in a humorous way. Now, it seems like Big Funny's trying to be a little more cautious and patient, not realizing that he, not trying to lose his second stock off of a miss input or a flashy type of combo. But right now, he's just trying to seal this deal with this final game. And he makes it, but he takes the third game from Pono. Big Funny moving on. Incredible plays by both players. You saw how Pono was starting to slowly adapt towards the second game, and he took it. But in the third game, it seemed like because of the character switch and realizing how Big Funny was able to adapt,